welcome to something on the screen that you can see is a new series, but doesn't look like a new series. Before I start this, guys, if you can smash the like button, it seriously helps so much. You do not understand. It helps so much to the channel, and it just means a lot. And also, subscribe for more daily arc videos. So, episode one of my new arc series. Now, turning around, does this look like a new arc series? This does not look like a new arc series. We've got war drums. We've got a, we've got a pretty nice RG called Dean. We've got a Quetzal called Josh. We've got... Bouncer, we've got Scorpo, we have just got literally everything you could dream of, and even in here, we have got all my inventory with all my stuff, and you guys are probably thinking, this is not a start of a new series. Well guys, and as you can see, you can see um, a little Spinosaurus over there, don't know why I said little, but anyway... I'm starting a brand new series on my single player, which I have been playing a lot of the time. Now, this is actually a non-dedicated server as well, which me and my mates play on as well. So, well, as I say mates, Ryan and Jack and Ryan, and we always play on this server, and um, and they'll be joining me on uh, like on this sort of venture along the way. And we, I didn't really want to start from the start from scratch because I thought it'd be stupid to waste like such amazing and like all that effort I've put into it. And um, and well, not just me putting in the effort. Uh, obviously, Ryan, sorry, sorry to you lot. Um, you put in a lot of effort as well. But anyway, so starting off with this new series, um, there's a lot I've got to show you around, like for this for the start of this episode. So this is the house. Do not. Ask me why the colours are what they are. Lenahan, who you haven't actually seen in a video yet, he's been going to be coming very, very soon. Um, look what he's done. Um, a blue seat, uh, blue boxes, and half the ladder's blue, and half is just the standard colour. Do not ask me why. It is just doesn't make sense. So in here is going to be the new room where we're going to build lots of stuff. We've got a cool little. This is courtesy to Ryan, um, not Lenahan, Hepke, and um, he's been he's the one you've seen in the video before. Um, it's looking very very nice. And as you come up the ladder here, um, uh, you've got to climb up. And uh, as you can see, this is the second floor where there is actually lots of nice stuff going on um we've got our raw primate m m in here and i can't even speak um to get rid of that like we're gonna have to keep getting more and more of that because it does spoil quite quickly we've got a um we've got an air conditioner here everything looking very nice and upstairs we haven't really got anything here yet and then you've got the next ladder i suppose which is like the third floor and as you can see you get to the top and it's sort of like a little archway uh, sort of like a little it looks like a bit like a church or something like that because you come out here and then you can climb up to the top of here and as you can see it's like a sort of a nice little sniping tower where you can practice your aim you can do all the stuff like that so this is like the brand new brand new series but you know, maybe 50 episodes in, sort of thing. So as you can see, there's Spence the Spino down there, Neil the Spino, Seb, or Sebastian, whatever you want to call him, the Carno, and uh, we also do have some... Where have they gone? Um, we do have a Megalodon, and we do have some of those Ichiosauruses. Um, this is Josh here, right? He's literally... He's amazing. He gets us everything, all the materials. So yeah, that's the basically the base. I just wanted to show you guys around the base. Um... This is our little squad. We've got Pip, Lacey, and Smithy. Uh, Georgia and Jenny, the trikes. We've got Kevin. We've got Bill, the dino. Like, Bill, well, the T-Rex. I don't know why I said dino. They're all dinos. And we've also got Ben, who is our Bronto with the saddle, with the platform saddle on the back. And how could I forget Steve? We've got Steve the Sarko. He's looking very, 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 very nice to that. That sounds very, very strange about a virtual game. We've got our two rafts over there if we ever want to use a boat. And as you can see, down here somewhere, we have... Don't ask me why his name is Bay. It was just, it was a decision by the group. Like, a very, 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 very massive decision made by... He can rank up again. Um, made by the group. I what am I doing? And so that's a hundred and seven. And we've also got a megalodon down there called Tail Finding Nemo. Um, Bruce is the shark, and we just thought, you know what, we might as well go for it. So this is Bruce here. Brucey is a very nice megalodon to have. We've got Sl is it 
I've always thought it was Sliver, so I'm hoping it's Sliver. We've, we had about five, and many have died, and um, there are still some alive somewhere. They're just sort of like swimming around. Yeah, this is... Is it Sliver? It better be Sliver. Yeah, it is Sliver. I keep thinking it's Silver from far away. So we'll quickly rank him up before we start drowning. Um, there we go. So that's 170 is so fast. So that is basically our underwater... Like, you know, that, that's this is just like a... Like, you know... It's a bit like a preview of, like, wh what's been done already. And as you can see, you're probably thinking, Dom, you've got all that stuff. You're level 80. You've got... Why are you not wearing all your stuff? Why haven't you got all your stuff in your inventory? We are making big plans to go to the snowy area. And we are making big plans to like, obviously get pelt to repair. Because just look how broken down this is. And make full fur armor. Because we want to make a base in the snowy biome. Which would be absolutely amazing. We want to go and make a base over by the big green tower. Because, and we also want to get this broodmother tamed. And in here guys is where the specialness happens. When we look in here and we go into the chest. We will see all the stuff that is building towards the broodmother. Now obviously Megalodon Tooth. The thing I can never say, the RG Talons, the artif two artifacts of the Devourer, two artifacts of the Hunter, that's just random, like, we just keep that in there. The artifacts of the Clever, two T-Rex arms, 19 rare mushrooms, and 11 rare flowers. Now, the rare mushrooms, the rare flowers, the T-Rex helmet, and I think that's it. Do not go towards it, but they're just in there anyway, just because, you know, they're rare stuff, and this is like the chest of the special... The, the magic so obviously as I, I'll just give you a quick run through of what I had again So this is basically my whole inventory of what I've built up and um, and obviously I'm not wearing that because I don't want to lose it because I am very scared and this is gonna be sort of our little um tribal area and we all come around and um, We you know we sort of just play the drums. We just I'm not very good at it I need to learn how to do it also in here from the Quetzal we from back in the day We have been getting lots and lots of metal. We've got loads of ingots already so Big things are also introducing you to Bouncer. I don't think he can level up. No, he can't. Um, Corona and Jahona. If you've ever heard of, of... Most of you will heard of the beer, Corona. It doesn't actually come after that, but it's something linked to, linked to Jack. As you can see, Jahona. Um, yeah, you probably won't understand. And you will later on if you've been following our channel for a long time. Um, Scorpo. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So the plans that I basically had for this video was literally just to show you guys round the base. Now, I want to do lots and lots of massive things because I want to take you to the base that I had uh, this amazing place in the snow biome that I've, I found and it was absolutely amazing. And I found it and I thought this place is perfect for a base. And I started making it and I kept dying and kept dying. This is around the start of it. And at the moment, it's just a small little wooden base and um, it's... You know, it's not it's not really the best best of places, but like it, it's like it's away from all danger. There was actually a T Rex that actually tried to come over once, and I know that's probably the most dangerous thing you could possibly get, apart from like Gigantosauruses and the Broodmother and stuff like that. But it's not like the end of the world, like just one T Rex, like which I did get angry. Uh, well, its aggro is really high because I kept shooting it with arrows for banter. Um, we also lost a mammoth, which was over here with us. Uh, that mammoth. I'm actually, it literally just disappeared. We had a bird, another RG called Gina, and we had a mammoth called Terry, and um, they just, they just disappeared. They literally just disappeared, guys, and I think it's a glitch on the game. Um, it, the mammoth just literally was gone. It, I, when I say gone, he, I, the mammoth was just, dis it just not, wasn't there anymore. Like, I... It was the most upsetting thing I've ever seen. Now, I just wanted to take you along around here, because usually I would skip these things, guys. I'd usually skip um, uh, my... When, for further episodes, I'll be skipping the flies like to like places, because obviously they're not very fun. But just for this episode, I wanted to show you what we have around the base. We have the swamp, as you can see. Um, very, very dangerous place to go. We've died many times in the swamp trying to adventure through, through there. And uh, there's a really cool area down here that which we'd like to go and adventure. It's just full of titanoboas, uh, the snakes. Absolutely full of them and absolutely full of dangerous shit. As you can see already, we've got a Sarko. We've got a Kano. We've just got... Do you see what I mean about... Just look how dangerous this place is. Imagine st standing still. Standing still in this place would literally be the end. Now, um, I think what I might actually do, guys, is 
stop the video here and come back when I get there because I don't want to leave you guys too much. I wasn't going to, but I just feel like I'm dragging it along too much if I'm make, gonna make you fly all the way. We're back, guys, and um, as you can see, we are here. And I thought it was a really, really, really nice place when I first found it. And as you can see, here we will find the base that I started on absolutely ages ago and never finished. Look how amazing this base is. I mean, just that will keep you nice and warm back there. But as you can see in here, this will keep this will build our health back up a little bit because we've obviously got a little bit of fur armor on. Um, this is literally all I had in here. I'd, I'm not sure. I have 64 stone in there. Um, I've actually got a bit of a fire going on with one piece of wood in there. And oh, we've got 27 in there, so that's if we really needed to stay completely warm. But it doesn't matter anyway. So as you can see, this is the place where... I think our base will be created in the snowy biome, but I wanted to take you guys around um, this sort of area because I wanted to actually get a kill for this video. I wanted to get a mammoth kill because we very, very badly need to get ourselves... There's the T-Rex. There's the T-Rex, guys. The one that has been taunting our base for years. I don't even know if I said taunting or haunting there. And also the walls back there. I'm, I was thinking of taking back a wolf back to the house because I've been thinking about that for a while, actually. Bringing back a dial wolf to our base and getting that tamed up would be pretty damn amazing. So as you can see, this is I think this is the mammoth we're going to go for. Um, because it's, it's the closest one to us. So let's start attacking on this bad boy here. Ouch, that is going to hurt a lot. What level is this guy? Um, um, ouch, this guy's only, I think that said level 14. So we should be able to take it. Um, I'm not sure why we couldn't. Because um, he's not that bad. I shouldn't really be like in his face, to be honest. He's only level 1. I thought it said 14 there. But we've nearly got this guy down. And, um, and obviously we're taking a lot of hits as well. So let's, you know, let's try and tank this out for a bit. We could take this, I reckon. Uh, we've got to be a bit careful from what could be behind us. But, uh, we are tanking this out quite nicely. And, um, this guy's nearly down. So as you can see, we got the guy down and we've also got the four pieces of pelt. That was not what I was looking for. But we did get a lot of raw... No, we didn't. We only got four pieces, which I'm pretty upset about because I thought we were going to get more than that because we for this episode I was really hoping we could get some pelt um, I think what we'll do is we'll head back to our little wooden shack and we'll quickly rebuild our health back because I think that's what it's got to be like for for like the meanwhile we'll get that and we'll go hunting for another mammoth and I think once we kill the mammoth instead of gathering it with um, our uh, instead of gathering the mammoth stuff with our bird we'll use our hatchet because I think that's where we went, went wrong last time so this obviously this go gain our bit of our health back because um, i think the bird needs a little bit of a rest and for t until the next fight as well and also we might as well re well you know top our health up and also dean is actually nearly level 14 which is really good so let's jump in here regain a little bit of health um we're on 166 so we're not actually too far off level 81 ourselves actually so what we've got for the next like we've we haven't unlocked everything, which is so, we've still got so much to unlock. But coming down to the bottom here, um, we have still got to unlock a industrial forge, which I've been, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this level 85. I cannot wait. So this should be a good episode for us, guys. A mini gun turret, a mosasaur platform saddle, a gigantosaurus saddle, and a rocket turret. I have not tamed a plesiosaur or a mosasaur. Uh, Mosasaurus yet, which is pretty, um, which uh, is going to be something we can get really excited for for the next episode. So let's see how much health he's on. He can actually rank up now. So I think what we'll actually do is rank up his health as uh, for Dean's 40th level. So get that level to close to, um, you know, get that health close to. I think it was 700, was it, or was it? Yeah, close to 700. So that's a decent bit of health. And I think on our way back for the end of this episode, I think what we'll do is actually, um guys guys okay we were stuck for a second that was a little bit scary um so what we'll actually try and do i think we'll pick up a dire wolf to bring back with us hopefully if we don't die then that would be pretty damn amazing because um i think i wanted to get a wolf to um hopefully we can get t some of these tamed up um there is literally tons and tons of wolves here um i i'm actually in shock right now um there is an army, a pack of wolves. There is, there are million. If I went, if I went down there, I would literally just get shredded to pieces by these wolves. So we need to quickly, before our health starts going down too rapidly, um, we need to get ourselves a tame, not a tame. We need to get ourselves another mammoth kill. And this place does look pretty. 
amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Like it looks really nice. Uh, it could be. This would have been a nice place to make a base, but obviously it's still very, very dangerous in the snowy biome. And um, I don't really know why we're going along here, but it's only because obviously I can see it's probably a bit risky. This is the problem. Look how many mammoths are over here, and um, we are very far away from the base. So. Um, there is just dire wolves everywhere. There are literally dire wolves everywhere. So I think we'll go for this one here. Let's go for this. Let's go for this guy here. Is there any no? There's no wolves around us. What level is this guy? We didn't even check. But let's just go for the kill. He's only level two. These are very very low level mammoths. And if we can try and get the kill here, that would be great because I mean a level one we got absolutely easily. So I'm hoping that mammoth isn't coming for me. Uh, let's try and get go around the side here. And get this guy back up this way. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to go back up this way. Um, if we can try and get more and more attacks on the head, that would be great. He's losing health quite quickly, but so are we. So we've got to be careful. But we need to get this pelt because we need to repair our armor. So as you can see, our mammoth is down. Um, let's quickly do this before wolves come and absolutely destroy us. So let's see how much we can get. We got 90. So let's head back to base, and as you can see, can we pick up saber tooths? I don't know if we. And then we're stuck. And we're stuck. That was very, very scary for a second there. Uh, let's see. We can actually pick up a saber tooth. I say we bring back a saber tooth. I really badly. This is only a level two saber tooth, but I think we should bring one back back with us. I think I'm going to leave it here. Please don't fall off. I think if we leave this saber tooth over here. And drop that there, and then it's going to come for us again, isn't it? But I suppose if we leave that up there, and hopefully it won't go too far from the next time we come back. We've got an Argy very, very near to our base. We're going to need to get that moved out of the way very, very quickly. Um, because Argies aren't actually the weakest things. I mean, we can take it down, which I think what we'll do now, we'll take that down now, because that is too close to our base, which isn't looking nice. Um, what is actually the time? It's actually becoming night time, which, actually, which isn't great. But let's get a kill on this guy here, because we need to get rid of him as fast as possible, because RGs are very annoying. I just cannot stand fighting other flying things, and it's going to be dark any second now, so... This isn't great. I've also made it so the night goes very quickly, guys, because I know you guys prefer watching morning clips, and I do not like night clips at all. Um, we've nearly got this guy down already. He's, I don't think he's probably, probably not very high level. Um, as you can see, he's taking... Well, we actually are down to nearly half health, which is a surprise. But as you can see, he is down. We killed him. So let's get back into base. Um, get all this... You know, let's, let's get prepared. Let's wait for the morning to blow over. It's probably going to be a cold night, so we need to get both fires on, um, light the fire. It's actually not too bad. Um, we went down to 121 health, which is quite a lot, but as you can see, the night is going to go quick. We also got ourselves 100 pelt altogether, which isn't enough, but I think we'll bring 100 pelt with us just for this one trip for the first episode back. Um, so yes, guys, um, I hope you guys do enjoy this series. Um, I think what we'll do quickly is I'll pick up this saber tooth. And um, wait for the morning. It's, it usually gets bright around about four o'clock in the well, on this game. So we'll wait for the morning. Can we? Yeah, it would be freezing without the fire. So we'll wait for the morning to um, uh, to appear. We'll go grab that saber tooth, and if we can't find that, we'll go grab another one. We'll take it back. I'll see you guys when we. Um, I'll stay just quickly to finish off waiting for the morning. Pick up the saber tooth, and then I'll come back uh, for the when we get back to the base, and hopefully we can get ourselves a saber tooth tame. So we are now, it's now 10 to 1 in the, so it should be getting bright anytime soon. I feel sorry for Dean, I know he's got, I know he's basically got furs, so he's basically got a big jacket, but look at us, we're wearing fur as well, and we are absolutely freezing, so I feel a bit sorry for Dean. But, um, pelt weighs a lot, which I was really shocked about, so as you can see, it's nearly 2 o'clock, so it gets bright around about the, uh, I think it's about 4 o'clock in the morning on this game, so hopefully we can get this sorted straight away. Um, what time... So it's two at two now. Um, do we risk going now? Um, it's, no, I don't really want to risk it to be honest. It has got so cold. We're gonna have to. We don't have enough. So we're gonna have to. Oh no, there we go. We're we're now warm again. I was gonna say. I got a bit worried for a second then. Um, but yes, nearly, 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 nearly three. Um, so nearly the morning. Uh, quickly speed through this night because I just 
nights, you can never get any things done in the night. You really cannot get anything done. We're nearly there, guys. Nearly at four. And then we can go ahead off. Get this Tabor Tooth sa tamed up. I don't know why I said that. Tamed up. We've got to think of a name as well, actually. Um, so, ten, ten to four. So, I think any second now... I can leave. So it's now four. So let's have a little look outside. And as you can see, it is brightening up. There we go. So let's get on Dean and let's head off to that saber tooth where we last saw it. Uh, there's the RG that we killed. Do we want to get the meat for it? We don't really need to, but we might as well. Um, if you guys are wondering why I just literally got that in one hit there, it's because um, if any of you knew from, uh, if any of you guys knew from like, uh, the video I did yesterday, I've made it so um, like everything is turned up to the max, so it's easy to get stuff and, and things. So just see so you guys can watch things happen like as quick as possible. So we're gonna fly up to the top here, grab our saber tooth. He is probably gone walkies. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there he is. There's our saber tooth. This game coming towards us. Where is he? Where is our saber? There he is. We've got him grabbed up. He hit us, but he's grabbed up. So we he's only level 2, and the other one could have probably been a higher level, but I suppose, you know what, oh well, level 2, let's go. So let's fly back to base, and I will be back. So we're back at base, guys, and I'm just trying to decide where I want to put our saber tooth. Um, I want to sort of get him trapped in the middle of the rock, so let's drop him here. So hopefully... He won't follow us. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie. Um, because I I think I'm going to put my flak armor on. Because I, I think we're going to be taking some hits. Um, I'm not too sure. Depending on how this is actually going to work. I think we'll fly our RG out there. And try and get him into a glitch position. So let's get our stuff that we need for this. We need to go get our crossbow. Um, which is somewhere here. I love just how arc freezes for a sec. I think 35 is definitely going to be enough, 100%. So we'll grab our crossbow. Um, grab that up. We need to get that repaired, actually. Grab, jump on back on Dean, who's got the uh, Spider-Man effect as well. And fly over to where I think our saber tube should have stayed. It stayed a whole night in the snowy biome last time. So let's hope it's still sort of glitch between these rocks somewhere. Please be alive, my friend. I know, I, I know, I, you, you. There's no, you can't be that stupid, can you? Really. Um, where is our saber tooth? This is the thing I was worrying about. Am I being an idiot? Did I put it? I think I put it over here. Please tell me I put it over here. Please, saber tooth. I'm very worried right now. I'm very, very worried. We literally just put all that work in to get this saber tooth. And now he's... I literally just kicked my mic um, in panic. Let's let's sit here and let's see if we can get him, like, ready to munch on us. Sabretooth! Oh, Sabretooth, where are you? Do you want a little munch? Do you want a little munch? Where are you? Say, I'm, I'm, I'm actually worried right now. I'm physically worried. Unless, I've, unless I'm being an absolute idiot and I put him somewhere over here. Did I put him somewhere over here, guys? No, I really don't think I did. Oh, Sabretooth. No, do not do this to me. Please, Sabretooth. Please, Sabretooth. I've... After all we've been through, Sabretooth. No, this is actually such a cool... <gasps> There's our Sabretooth! Okay, we found it. We found it. We found it. We found it. Okay. So, let's get ready to tame. Um... Let's have Dean on follow mode. No, let's not. Um, let's just do that because I, I needed to get rid of it. So, where is our saber tooth? Because we need to get in that, you know, in that proper glitch position. There he is. There's our saber tooth. So, we need to get some shots off on him. Um, okay, right. Let, come on, stay still. Stay still. This is really not working out the way I wanted it to. Um, yep. Yep. Okay, okay, stay there, stay there. Boom, first hit, first hit on him, first hit, first hit. Second hit, guys, second hit. Oh, he's getting a bit angry, he is not happy, he's not a happy saber tooth. Where is he going? Come back here. He's down, he's down, he's down. 
Um, I didn't... Yes, I've got meat on me. I haven't got any of that prime left, which is a bit annoying, because he would be a higher rank if I had... Unless... Does... Whistle for Dean. Come down here, Dean. Come on, Dean. Come on, Dean. Come down here. Come down here. Quick, Dean. Hop on, Dean. Does he have any raw prime on him? And it's literally just spoiled. Yeah. Is there any left? There... Oh, there's some left on Dean. There is some left on Dean. Come on. We've got to be so quick to do this. Please, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god, guys. It's just spoiled as we went to do this. We've got to do this quick because I don't know what their... No, it's not too bad. Uh, their torpor isn't that bad. Uh, let's put that on. So, very nice. Very nice. And very nice. I don't think the Sabertooth is going to need... He's not going to level up, which is why I wish we used the raw prime meat. But it's going to be very exciting because we're going to get our first Sabertooth. All thank you to Dean. Um... Let's get him back on, not follow him because it can get on your nerves very badly. Look how cool looking this saber tooth is as well. He's got those cool little stripes on him. He needs to start eating up quickly. Uh, we literally only took like four or five shots, which was pretty crazy. Um, um, come on, come on, come on. You know you're hungry. You know you're hungry. We're nearly there, guys. We are nearly there for our first saber tooth. He's only level. He's gonna only be level two, but at the end of the day, guys. It's a saber tooth, and I'm gonna bring him back to base. And I'm very excited. I'm gonna have to make a saddle for him, but uh, once that saddle's all done, it should be amazing. Is he gonna have another bite? Come on, how? come on! I'm giving you some nice raw meat there. Come on! Oh, that was a nice. I think next time, guys, this could be our first saber tooth statement. Actually, no, not the first. I've actually done it once before, but the saber tooth died, and I never got to actually put a saddle on it either. <coughs> I think we'll make the saddle just before we end this episode. Um, Come on, saber tooth. Come on. Come on. Eat. Come on. Come on. We're waiting for this. We're waiting for this. We are waiting. There we go, guys. Saber tooth. Um, let's go with. Um, ooh, let's think of a good name for our saber tooth. Let's go with. Why am I thinking Rex? I don't know why I'm thinking Rex. I, I don't think I should. Um. Um, 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 I forgot the Ice Age name of the team, but I don't think, we need, we need to get a ginger one, we need to get a ginger one to be able to use the Ice Age one, so, um, let's go with Dagger, I think Dagger sounds a cool name for our Sabertooth, so, Dagger the Sabertooth, level 2, which isn't really what we want, but he's a pretty cool one, and, um, we'll get him picked up, so, did, did I miss? I missed, okay. Um, there we go. Come on, Dagger. Let's go. Uh, the reason why I named Dagger is I thought, you know what, the teeth, the teeth are pretty violent. And, um, I'm really, really excited to get this saddle made up for our first ever Sabered Sooth. So let's get him dropped just outside the front. Actually, no, let's bring him in. Let's bring him inside. You know, he's not one of those ones that is going to sit outside. He's going to be one of those royal ones who get the amazing, amazing chance of living inside here. So come on, Dagger. Let's Turn you a follow. He's looking amazing. I'm so excited about this. Um, turn him, everyone a follow. Now let's go and go to the smithy. And I think I've already learned the engram for it because I haven't actually made one before. But I think I made just learned it from back in the day. And I have. So what do I need for this saber tooth saddle? We just need to go and get literally a little bit more high, which there should be someone Spencer if I can remember um you guys are gonna have to remember these names I'm gonna learn I'm gonna teach you these these names oh my god Spencer is absolutely stacking with hide he's been hunting as you can tell so we'll grab all of this hide out of him and chuck it all in the um chuck all this hide in is there any more there's another 200 stack chuck it all on the smithy there is another 200 stack we are absolutely balling with hide I well, guys, <laughs> if I knew about this in the first, look how much spoiled meat. We need to keep all that spoiled meat for when we make more narcotics. Um, so let's jump in here. We never really use that back door because it's just in the... You know, I like it there, but I don't really use it. So let's chuck in all these stacks. If there's, if you guys know any like quicker ways of like having, like how to like drop things, like big bolts of loads of the same thing, that would be really appreciated if you could tell me. So saddles... Oh, uh, where is it? Our saber tooth saddle. We can make six, but we only need one, obviously. And uh, let's get this made and created. We've got some amazing stuff in here. We also want to be dropping our pelt into the the fabricator, I think it is. So let's grab our saber tooth saddle, guys. This is a really exciting moment. The first saber tooth I've actually ever put a saddle on and actually be able to ride. Um, let's put it on. 
I've just put it in his inventory. I didn't. I didn't think that would work. Uh, okay, come on. All I need to do is that. Uh, I'm actually an idiot. Like, what am I doing with myself? Um, saddle. There we go, guys. Ride. Boom. Heat. Whoa, they are fast. They are crazily fast, and their attack is pretty damn cool. Can they jump? Oh, and, and they can jump. This is amazing. How high can they jump? Oh, this is crazy. This Oh, that was a little bouncer. This is absolutely crazy, guys. I've saber tubes are amazing imagine a squad of saber tubes so there we go guys this has been the video today let's, let's say goodbye nicely there there's our guy he's not really wearing anything at the moment he's just wearing like some fur armor there's our saber tube he is looking very scary with those green eyes but anyway guys if you can hit that like button if you did enjoy this video subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in an episode of this in the future in the next few days hopefully goodbye the next few days what am i talking about yeah, tomorrow hopefully tomorrow or the day after